Welcome friends, I am Tonmoy and welcome to you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. So today we shall discuss about a name reaction that is Trisomyglyceric Extra Composition. So today's topic will cover mainly few points like basic concept of this reaction, mechanism for this reaction, role of base in this reaction, role of ester forming group means the alcohol part of ester and after that we will discuss about some intermediates and the same carbon means this carbon acting as both nucleophile as electrophile so we will we'll discuss that point also so let's start so as you can see that this reaction is nothing but the reaction between a ketone with a alpha halo ester okay so you can find some similarity this with uh, Claisen ester condensation. Actually, scientists doesn't first publish a paper using uh, the sodium amide as a base. After that, uh, this concept was extrapolated by uh, scientist Claisen. Okay, using uh, actually. Uh, Claisen was used this sodium ethoxide as a base and Darzen was used sodium or sodium amide as a base. Okay, so this is the background of this reaction. So, so what is actually happening in this case? So, firstly, what's happening? This alpha halo star having acidic hydrogen. You can see this hydrogen. So, in presence of base, this is a sodium alkoxide. We will come take sodium alkoxide. So what happens that it abstract. So base this actually this reaction is this uh, first preparation of this anonet. So this is X, this is minus, this is CO two R. Okay, and we know that if we draw this CO two R properly, this is C double bond O O R. So this is resonance stabilized. How this negative charge will come here? It will open up. So the final product is this is X, this is COO minus, this is O1. Okay, this is the resonance structure. In this way, the intermediate enolate, this is enolate, is resonance stainless. Okay, enolate from ester. In case of Claisen, same similar type of mechanism happens. Means similar proton abstraction happens, and after that it attacks a mm, uh, this carbonyl carbon. I'll explain the difference. So next step, what happens? That this carbon ion attacks a carbonyl carbon. As we know that this is delta negative, this is delta positive. This carbonyl carbon is electron deficient, so it attacks here. It opens. Similar like Claisen, it's happening till now. So it produces ultimately. This is the O minus. This. This is X, this is R, and this is CO2 R. Fine, I guess this is up to this is completely fine. So now the interesting part comes. In case of Claisen, what happens after the condensation reaction happens means first this is protonated, and after that it eliminates one water to produce. You can consider alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. You can consider it this way that it will produce this Claisen product. But the interesting part of this Darzen glyceric ester condensation is this X. This X could be ClBr means halogen. Fine. And one question you may think that there is one alpha halo. This is actually a alpha halo carbonyl. What do I mean? Alpha halo carbonyl means this is a carbonyl group alpha to this is a halogen we know they can do a very efficient sn2 efficient sn2 reaction okay so if they do very efficient sn2 reaction why it is not happening what do i mean that this base can do attack here and it can leave ultimately what can produce it can produce this is the another substituent we are not considering so this so this is what it could be possible and in this context I want to mention you that I have already made a video 
regarding this concept. But question why this is not happening? So this is not happening because see the choice of base. Generally we choose two types of base. Type 1 is base having same alcohol part same alcohol part how this you can generate you can take the alcohol and you can add sodium metallic sodium that will produce sodium alkoxide and plus hydrogen and this is a gas it will go out this is one technique second is first same alcohol part and second we can take that bulky base bulky base means like potassium tertiary butoxide. Be what is the point of taking? Because we know this bulky base like potassium tertiary butoxide, they can't act as only base because of bulkness, not as nucleophile. So this chance will be nullified. Okay? And another thing that why this same alcohol? Because there is another chance of cross esterification. What do I mean? Cross esterification means that ester will react with an another alcohol to prepare an another kind of ester. Means, for example, here you can see this is X, this is CH. So, this OR could be at. So, let's consider that we are taking RO prime. R prime. This is the base. So, what can happen? It can come and it can eliminate. Entropically, this reaction is possible. Enthalpically, is not that much problematic. Yeah, and actually it depends on the substitution. So what it can produce? It can produce this R C H X C O O O R prime. It can produce that. So in this way mix, but that uh, that will not finally affect reaction that much. Why I am saying? Maybe you will get R prime here, but ultimately when you consider the application, it's not that. But if instead of that there is a Instead of that, if we take same, these are and this is the same, then this problem will not arise. And secondly, apart from that, if we take bulky base, then also this esterification will not allow. Because that if R is bulky, this is a bulky group, then attacking at this carbon will not be favored. Because this is actually a reversible reaction. I will make details video in later about the hydrolysis when you can understand the attack on this carbonyl carbon is reversible and this carbonyl carbon is not that much electron deficient like simple carbonyl and this is the concept of cross claisen condensation because claisen is reaction between the two ester moiety even when we replace one ester moiety with carbonyl the reaction selectively happened on this because cross conjugation arising from this ester uh, alcohol or okay so this is the main concept behind this so okay we have understood up to this about the role of base as well as role of alcohol so now let's discuss the mechanism completely so as the an anulate is produced and it attacked this carbonyl carbon to form an addition product in this case a specific thing will occur what See here X is there which is this is actually can act as a leaving group. This can act as a good leaving group. For example, if chloride or bromide. So what it can happen? This attacks here, it leaves. So ultimately what it produces? This produces a epoxide derivative. So this, this, this is the oxygen, this, and halide is left. So this is R and this is CO2R. Okay, now question, we always say that three member ring for is trained instead of still why it is formed. Okay, so because proper conformational orientation. Please keep this word in mind, proper conformational orientation. Be this is the reason why in spite of being this is a strain molecule it is produced but see in, if you consider the four member epoxide it is very difficult because strain is there but no proper conformational orientation that's why very difficult to prepare such type of four member epoxide please keep this concept in mind and if you think how this is happening you may consider in this way 
that this is the O minus and this is the X. So let's consider another thing we are focusing. So this is the sigma star of this moiety is at this situation means sigma star is here. So this electron is donated to sigma star. Consequently, this bond break and they are homo means this bond, this or electron pair and these are in the similar side. That is the reason I have written this word proper conformational orientation and that is the reason it will attack and this X will leave to produce this final epoxide moiety. Now there should be an another confusion. What confusion? You may think that we have many times observed about lactone formation. What do I mean? That Let's draw it again first. This is O minus, this is X, this is R. Even you can consider this COOR. Logically, you may think that okay, this O minus can come at can attack here. So if we consider that, what will be the ring? Number of one, two, three, four. And as I told just sometimes ago, that four member ring formation is not favorable because of pro lack of proper conformation orientation. This reaction means attack of this will not happen. Means if it attack, it will come, it will come back, it will leave. So this reaction will happen and ultimately or this product will be produced. And this is called as glycemic star. Okay? And that's why this name is Darzen the scientist name, glycemic star condensation. Okay? Okay. So this is the uh, understanding about the base. So we have discussed about the basic concept, mechanism, role of base, role of ester functionalities, intermediate. So okay, let's discuss about the intermediate. So we are saying that this alkoxy, halo alkoxide is producing as an intermediate. Fine, no problem. Is it possible to detect? Actually, frankly speaking, this is very difficult to detect. Why? Because this is the halo group. This X is a good living group. What do I mean? If, since it's a chloride or bromide like that, so chlorine or bromine, then it is very difficult to separate because whenever this epoxide will be produced, this alkoxide will be produced, this reaction will undergo. But if we make a little bad living group, one of the example, if we take this is as a flow, means what do I mean? Let's draw it again, then you will have a proper visualization. C double O R. This is another R and here O minus. Fine. So we know fluoro is not a good living group. Okay. This fluorine is not a good living group. Good living group compared to like chloride, bromide, iodide, etc. Why this charge is confined on this fluoride? I have explained, I have made dedicated video on this nucleophile living group character of different groups so i suggest you please go through that uh, video i'll provide the link at the end in the description box okay so it logically it can attack here but it will not be able to leave efficiently so this portion that's then it is possible to detect such intermediate okay fine so we have discussed about the intermediate now the now let's discuss about the Nucleophile versus electrophile. So the thing is that, so this is our reaction. Now we have to think nucleophile versus electrophile. What do I mean? I mean that you can, you see here that first after the treatment of base, one anion is produced. So this carbon is right now nucleophilic. Okay, fine. So what happens? This carbon reacts with this and produces this. But this carbon right now, this is this carbon, or you can say this carbon. This carbon is right now electrophilic. Why? Because previously there was a negative charge on it, and negative charge on carbons relatively stabilized by the conjugation. Fine. It is produces an intermediate. But when it react, this charge is consumed and charge went on a relatively more electromagnetic oxygen atom. So right now it is not 
it, uh, it this carbon is not that much uh, nucleophilic and another thing no ion is there how it could act but it attached to the halogen is attached to the halogen and we know halogens are more electronegative that's why you can consider this is delta negative this is delta positive that is the reason we can consider it's electrophilic carbon and another thing the next step is also reflected because this epoxide attacks here because this is a nucleophilic center this is electrophilic center that's why this reaction happening so during this process inversion of polarity is also observed and that is because of the presence of this so we have discussed and in this context i want to mention that how you can obtain this alpha halo carbon okay so i suggest you to remember i have already uh, discussed about it and this is this uh, reaction is hvz reaction hvz reaction i have also made dedicated video about hvz reaction basic concept and mechanism i shall provide the link in the description box okay so this is fine what is that reaction of an alpha halo as alpha hydrogen containing acid okay what it can produce it can react with phosphorus red phosphorus and h sorry i made mistake halogen and phosphorus so it reacts and produces this alpha halo acid in this context keep it in mind on this uh, halogen is chlorine bromine that okay so mainly chlorine and bromine this derivative could be obtained easily through this process so this is not hvz reaction and this reaction goes through uh, this reaction produces this alpha halo acid and that could easily be converted through esterification in presence of alcohol to produce finally the alpha halo acid okay so the alpha halo is so this is the end of the discussion i believe you have learned a lot i believe this video is useful for you so if it is actually useful for you please uh, help me to grow my channel first of all subscribe my channel chemistry the mystery of molecule and share this video among your friends so that many people could be benefited and Most importantly please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload and try to learn these videos it will be helpful for you and one thing i forget to mention this solvent if you want to use this is the corresponding roh because uh, this exchange will i will not result anything but if we use different type of alcohol uh, then there could be a mix alkoxide formation first and second in non polar uh, solvent this alkoxide will not be solvent okay so this is the thing end of this discussion so don't worry try hard i will try i shall try to make as much as video i can because i have my work also is at work so majority of cases i can't do and sometimes it's delayed continuity breaks because my research work but still i shall try my best try hard and if you have any queries regarding understanding or confusion please mention it in the comment box so all the best see you in my next